Your Excellency the Deputy President, Cabinet Secretaries, present Principal Secretaries, ladies and gentlemen. This morning I'm holding brief for the Chief of Staff and Head of the Public Service following my recent appointment as his Principal Deputy responsible for the functional domain of performance and delivery management in government. It is a great honor, Your Excellency, to welcome you to the official launch of the Foreign Travel Information Management System, FOTIMS, and the Presidential Directives Management System, PDMIS. Information and communication technology has fundamentally transformed governance and public service, becoming an essential tool for enhancing transparency and improving operations in government. FOTIMS, which streamlines the process of foreign travel clearance and the PDIMS, which manages and tracks presidential directives, are pivotal in advancing accountability. These systems, Your Excellency, will support more informed decision making, efficient resource allocation, and effective monitoring, evaluation, and reporting. Your Excellency, the next step will be to cascade these systems to the lowest levels of the public service across various ministries, departments, and agencies. Transparency is essential for good governance, while ICT is crucial in this regard, in fact, imperative. There have been instances of senior officials traveling abroad without proper clearance approval, which violates the set values and principles of public service. With this system in place, Your Excellency, it will now be possible to have a history of all the travels which each and every officer in the public service has made at the press of a button. With the FOTIMS platform, we will now be able to track the number of trips, destinations, purposes, and associated costs, providable, providing valuable insights into how these travels impact performance contracts. This will greatly, therefore, enhance the efficiency, transparency, and accountability of our travel processes. The integration of FOTIMS with other systems, Your Excellency, such as immigration and foreign affairs, will help address these issues and support disciplinary actions where and when deemed appropriate. Additionally, the manual process of transmitting, tracking, and storing presidential directives has been cumbersome and slow. The PDMIS will therefore streamline this process, making it more efficient and enabling quicker, more effective reporting and decision-making depending on unfolding events from time to time. By improving how we handle presidential directives, the PDMIS will provide crucial data to guide policy decisions and implementation. Just as transport infrastructure is essential for mobility, robust digital infrastructure is necessary to support reliable internet access and service delivery. I acknowledge the critical information infrastructure classification for these systems and encourage the ICT authority through the Ministry of ICT under the able leadership of Dr. Nyambura to maintain an interrupted system uptime. Your Excellency, in closing, I want to express my gratitude to the dedicated team of young professionals who have developed these systems. The government is committed to encouraging our youth to continually upskill and contribute meaningfully to public service. One lesson we have learned from this initiative, Your Excellency, is that we do not need to outsource services where we have internal capacity within government. And this is very commendable, and I really want to thank the Ministry of ICT for this. I also want to commend the Ministry of ICT and the Digital Economy, particularly the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner and the ICT Authority for taking a leading role in the deployment of the two systems. It is now my distinguished pleasure, Your Excellency, to introduce the Cabinet Secretaries available within our midst. We have the Cabinet Secretary for Cooperatives, Honorable Wycliffe Ambassador Paranya. Yeah, let's give him a round of applause. The Cabinet Secretary for Public Service, Justin Muturi. 
We have the cabinet uh, secretary for East Africa community and that's all my sister Beatrix Askul. We have the Honorable Attorney General of the Republic of Kenya, Dorcas Oduor. And we have many principal secretaries. Please just be upstanding principal secretaries who are present today. Thank you very much for coming. With those many remarks, it is my distinguished honor and privilege on behalf of the Chief of Staff and Head of the Public Service to invite His Excellency the Deputy President to address the gathering. Let's all be upstanding as we welcome the Deputy President.